Hi, it's me, Teacher Jean. In this lesson, you will learn about graphing linear equations in two variables using any two points, slope and y-intercept, x and y-intercepts. First, graphing using any two points. For number 1, assign any two values of x, then substitute to the given equation to get the value of y. Write the numbers in a table of values. Second, plot the points. On the Cartesian plane, plot the first point with the coordinates x sub 1, comma y sub 1. Plot the second point with the coordinates x sub 2, comma y sub 2. And for the last, connect the points using a straight line. So we have the graph using any two points. Now, for you to understand, let's have the following examples. Graph 2x plus y equals negative 4. For number 1, assign any two values of x, then substitute on the equation to get the value of y. So first, when x equals negative 1, write the equation 2x plus y equals negative 4. Then substitute the value of x which is negative 1. So we have 2 times negative 1 plus y equals negative 4. 2 times negative 1 equals negative 2 then apply addition property of equality. We are going to add both sides the additive inverse of negative 2 which is positive 2 so that we can eliminate negative 2 plus 2 equals 0 and we have the remaining y equals negative 4 plus 2 adding unlike sign we are going to subtract then follow the sign of the larger absolute value so the result is negative 2 so the value of y is negative 2 then write it on the table so we have the coordinates negative 1 comma negative 2. Second, when x equals 1, write the equation 2x plus y equals negative 4. Then, substitute the value of x which is 1. So, we have 2 times 1 plus y equals negative 4. 2 times 1 equals 2. Then, apply addition property of equality. We are going to add both sides the additive inverse of positive 2 which is negative 2. So, we can eliminate 2 minus 2 equals 0. And, we have the remaining y equals negative 4 minus 2 is equal equal to negative 4 plus negative 2 which is negative 6. So the value of y is negative 6. Then write it on the table so we have the coordinates 1 comma negative 6. For number 2, plot the points. So on the Cartesian plane, we plot the first point with the coordinates negative 1, negative 2 which is located on quadrant 3. Then the second point with the coordinates 1 comma negative 6 which is located on quadrant 4. Then for the last, connect the graph using a straight line. So we have the graph of 2x plus y equals negative 4. Next, let's have another example. Graph 6x minus 3y equals 12. For number 1, assign any two values of x, then substitute on the given equation to get the value of y. So first, when x equals 0, write the equation 6x minus 3y equals 12. Then substitute the value of x which is 0. So we have 6 times 0 minus 3y equals 12. 6 times 0 equals 0. So we have the remaining negative 3y equals 12. Then divide both sides by negative 3. So we can cancel negative 3 divided by negative 3 equals 1. 1 times y is y equals 12 divided by negative 3 is negative 4. So the value of y is negative 4. Write it on the table so we have the coordinates 0 comma negative 4. Second, when x equals 1, write the equation 6x minus 3y equals 12. Then substitute the value of x which is 1. So we have 6 times 1 minus 3y equals 12. 6 6 times 1 equals 6, then apply addition property of equality, we are going to add both sides the additive inverse of positive 6 which is negative 6. So we can eliminate 6 minus 6 equals 0. And we have the remaining negative 3y equals 12 minus 6 is 6. Then divide both sides by negative 3. Negative 3 divided by negative 3 equals 1 times y is y equals 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2. So the value of y is negative 2, write it on the table so we have the coordinates 1 comma negative 2. For number 2, plot the points. So on the Cartesian plane, we plot the first point with the coordinates 0 comma negative 4 which is located on the y-axis and below the origin. Then the second point with the coordinates 1 comma negative 2 which is located on quadrant 4. And for the last, connect the graph using a straight line so we have the graph of 6x minus 3y equals 12.
Moving on, graphing using slope and y-intercept. For number 1, rewrite the equation in the slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b to find the slope or m and the y-intercept b of the line. For number 2, plot the point on the Cartesian plane. Now take note, the y-intercept is a point found on the y-axis. So we're going to plot the first point along the y-axis with the coordinates 0, comma b. b is the y-intercept. For number 3, plot another point using Using the slope. So we have m equals rise over run. For the rise, if positive, move up from the reference point. If negative, move down from the reference point. For the run, if positive, move to the right from the indicated rise. If negative, move to the left from the indicated rise. Then plot the second point. Now as you notice, either of the two can be the second point. Then for the last, connect the points using a straight line. So we have the graph using the slope and the y-intercept. Now, for you to understand, let's have the following examples. Graph y equals 2 over 3x plus 1. For number 1, rewrite the equation in the slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b to find the slope or m and the y-intercept b of the line. Now, as you notice, the given equation is already in the slope-intercept form. So we can identify the m which is 2 over 3. 3. 2 is the rise over 3 is the run. Then the y-intercept is 1. For number 2, plot the point on the Cartesian plane. So we have the y-intercept or b is 1 and the coordinates is 0, 1 and that is located on the y-axis which is above the origin. For number 3, plot another point using the slope. So we have m equals 2 over 3. So 2 is positive. Move 2 units up from the reference point 0 comma 1 and 3 is positive move 3 units to the right from where the rise stop then draw a point with the coordinates 3 comma 3 which is located on quadrant 1 and for the last connect the points using a straight line so we have the graph of y equals 2 over 3 x plus 1 Let's have another example. Graph 2x plus y equals 4. For number 1, rewrite the equation in the slope-intercept form y equals mx plus b to find the slope or m and the y-intercept b of the line. Now, as you notice, 2x plus y equals 4 is in the standard form. So, write 2x plus y equals 4, then apply addition property of equality. We are going to add both sides the additive inverse of positive 2x which is negative 2x. So we can eliminate 2x minus 2x equals 0 and we have the remaining y equals negative 2x plus 4 which is already written in the slope intercept form. And we can identify the slope or m equals negative 2 or negative 2 over 1. Now take note if we have a whole number negative 2, it is understood that we have the denominator 1. Negative 2 is the rise over 1 is the run and the y intercept is positive 4. For number 2, plot the point on the Cartesian plane. So the y-intercept is 4 and the coordinates is 0, 4 which is located on the y-axis and above the origin. For number 3, plot another point using the slope. So we have m equals negative 2 over 1. Negative 2 is negative. Move 2 units down from the reference point 0, 4. Then the run is 1 which is positive. Move 1 unit to the right from where the rise stop. Then draw the second point with the coordinates 1, 2 which is located on quadrant 1. And for the last, connect the points using a straight line. Now let's have the third one. Graphing linear equation in two variables using the intercept method. If the line crosses the x-axis at point a, 0, then the number a is the x-intercept of the line. If the line crosses the y-axis at point 0, b, then the number b is the y-intercept of the line. Now, in graphing using the intercept method, the x-intercept is the x-coordinate of the point where a line intersects the x-axis. That is the value of x when y equals 0. The y-intercept is the y-coordinate of the point where a line intersects 
the y-axis. That is the value of y when x equals 0. So here are the steps. For number 1, find the x-intercept, let y equals 0, and solve for x. For number 2, find the y-intercept, let y equals 0, and solve for y. And for number 3, find a third solution to check. And for number 4, draw a straight line connecting the points. Now, for you to understand, let's have the following examples. Graph 4x minus 3y equals negative 12. Write the numbers in a table of values. For number 1, find the x-intercept, let y equals 0. Write it on the table and write the equation 4x minus 3y equals negative 12. Then substitute the value of y which is 0. So we have 4x minus 3 times the value of y 0 equals negative 12. Negative 3 times 0 equals 0. So we have the remaining meaning 4x equals negative 12. Then divide both sides by 4. We can cancel 4 divided by 4 equals 1. And 1 times x is x equals negative 12 divided by 4 is negative 3. And write it on the table. So we have the coordinates negative 3 comma 0. And negative 3 is the x-intercept. For number 2, find the y-intercept, let x equal 0. Write it on the table and write the equation 4x minus 3y equals negative 12. Then substitute the value of x which is 0. So we have 4 times 0 minus 3y equals negative 12. So 4 times 0 equals 0. We have the remaining negative 3y equals negative 12. Then divide both sides by negative 3. So we can cancel negative negative 3 divided by negative 3 equals 1 and 1 times y is y equals negative 12 divided by negative 3 is positive 4 so the y intercept is positive 4 write it on the table so we have the coordinates 0 comma 4 for number 3 to check let x equals 3 write it on the table and write the equation 4x minus 3y equals negative 12 then substitute the value of x which is 3 so we have 4 times 3 minus 3y equals negative 12. So 4 times 3 is positive 12 minus 3y equals negative 12. Then apply addition property of equality. We are going to add both sides the additive inverse of positive 12 which is negative 12. So we can eliminate 12 minus 12 equals 0 and we have the remaining negative 3y equals negative 12 minus 12 is equal to negative 12 plus negative 12 which is negative 24. Then divide both sides by negative 3. So we can cancel negative negative 3 divided by negative 3 equals 1 times y we have y equals negative 24 divided by negative 3 is positive 8 write it on the table and we have the coordinates 3 comma 8 then plot the points on the Cartesian plane first we have the x-intercept that is located on the x-axis so we have negative 3 on the left of the origin second the y-intercept is located along the y-axis so 0 comma 4 is located above the origin and for the third point we have 3 comma 8 that is located on quadrant 1 and for the last connect the three points using a straight line for another example, let's have graph 5x plus 2y equals 5. Write the numbers in a table of values. For number 1, find the x-intercept, let y equals 0. Write it on the table and write the equation 5x plus 2y equals 5. Then substitute the value of y which is 0. So we have 5x plus 2 times 0 equals 5. 2 times 0 equals 0. So we have the remaining 5x equals 5. Then divide both sides by 5. So we can cancel 5 divided by 5 equals 1 and 1 times x is x equals 5 divided by 5 equals 1 so the x intercept is 1 write it on the table so we have the coordinates 1 comma 0 for number 2 find the y intercept let x equal 0. Write it on the table and write the equation 5x plus 2y equals 5. Then substitute the value of x which is 0. So we have 5 times 0 plus 2y equals 5. 5 times 0 equals 0. So we have the remaining 2y equals 5. Then divide both sides by 2. Cancel 2 divided by 2 equals 1. And 1 times y is y equals 5 divided by 2 is equal to 2 and 1 half. So the y-intercept is 5 over 2 or 2 and 1 half. Write it on the table so we have the coordinates 0, 2 and 1 half. 
For number 3, to check let x equals 3. Write it on the table and write the equation 5x plus 2y equals 5. Then substitute the value of x which is 3. So we have 5 times 3 plus 2y equals 5. 5 times 3 equals 15 plus 2y equals 5. Then, apply addition property of equality, we are going to add both sides the additive inverse of positive 15 which is negative 15. So, we can eliminate 15 minus 15 equals 0. And we have the remaining 2y equals 5 minus 15 is negative 10 because negative 15 is greater than positive 5. Then, divide both sides by 2. So, we can cancel 2 divided by 2 equals 1 and 1 times y is y equals negative 10 divided by 2 is negative 5. Write it on the table so we have the coordinates 3, negative 5. Second, plot the points on the Cartesian plane. So for the x-intercept, 1, 0, that is located on the x-axis and that is on the right of the origin. Then for the y-intercept, that is located along the y-axis and that is between 2 and 3. So we have 2 and 1 half above the origin. And for the third point, we have 3, negative 5 that is located on quadrant 4. 3 is the x, negative 5 is the y. And for the last, connect the three points using a straight line. Now let's have graphing linear equation using horizontal and vertical line. First, we have graph y equals 3. On the Cartesian plane, the point is located along the y-axis and above the origin. So we have 0, 3. And we are going to draw a line that parallel to the x-axis. The graph y equals 3 is a horizontal line passing through the point 0, 3. And the slope is equal to 0. Second, graph x equals negative 4. On the Cartesian plane that is located on the x-axis and to the left of the origin. And we are going to draw a line parallel to the y-axis. The graph x equals negative 4 is a vertical line passing through the point negative 4, 0. And the slope here is undefined. Now it's your turn. Do it yourself. Graph each equation. Don't forget to comment down below your answers. Happy learning! Thanks for watching. Please like and share. And don't forget to subscribe on my channel and click the bell button so that you will be notified whenever I'm going to upload a new one. Maraming salamat!